I am a master's student majoring in computer science. In this video, we're going to be talking about constraints in relational model and how do you tackle the problems that you might have in a relational model and what are the different types of problems. Um, and yeah, we're going to be talking about that. So there are mainly three types of constraints that I'm going to be talking about, which is the domain constraint, key constraint, and referential constraint. Well, entity and referential constraint, but together we'll call it as referential constraint. With domain constraint, you need to remember that it usually checks a range of values and it makes sure that these values are atomic values. So this table represents um, where no constraints um where there are no errors and all rules are followed properly so let's check a problem where the domain constraint has been violated if you can check the fifth entry it says sing instead of roll number so yeah the error is domain constraint is violated and the action is record is rejected so if you try to insert um somewhere where it expects a range of numbers integers and you try to insert characters it's going to check the record primary key constraint so primary key constraint is pretty simple it's the easiest of them all which is whatever value or whatever column is your primary key it has to be unique here i believe rule number is the primary key constraint so you can see that everything in rule number is unique so you have 34 35 36 and 37 uh, if you take a look at this problem again, we have on the fifth row, we have row number 34 and on the first row, we have row number 34. So no two kids can have the same row number. So primary key constraint is violated and the action is the record will be rejected. Now we have integrity constraint, which is entity integrity constraint and referential integrity constraint. Uh, the easiest way to remember the difference between the two of them is with entity, you have to make sure the values are not null. And with referential, well, it arises when you're comparing, not comparing, but you're dealing with multiple tables. So again, if you check on the fifth uh, row, you can see that the roll number is null. So no child can have a null roll number that a child has to be assigned a roll number for roll call. So we say the entity integrity constraint is violated and the action would be that the record is rejected. And now we have two tables. Um, we have table number one representing roll number, name, division and phone number. And we have roll number two representing roll number and hometown. So you can see that the two tables are connected with roll number. Now, if we delete the last record so that roll number 38 does not exist, what is the problem that arises? The problem is that in our second table, we have roll number 38, but our primary table does not have roll number 38, which means that we have an extra roll number, which is why the referential integrity constraint is violated and hence the record will be rejected. Now, I want you to pause the video if you want and take a look at this problem this has multiple uh, constraints that have been violated and i believe there are five constraints that have been violated so just pause the video if you want for a while and write down your answer and then resume the video once you have your answer pause now all right so let's take a look at the errors that we have encountered First, we have here division instead of A, we have a character. Then for names, where we're expecting a character, we have numbers and special signs. We have sing, which where it's expecting a number that's been violated. Uh, we have repeated numbers, which is two rule numbers, 34 and 34, and we have null value. So we have domain constraint is violated, primary key constraint is violated, entity, uh, integrate uh, sorry entity integrity constraint is violated so we have one two three four five keys that have been violated I want you to pause the video again and take a look at this table and write down what constraints we have violated and what error would be generated and based on that what action is to be taken pause the video now 
all right let's take a look at what errors are in this table yeah so if you said no error good job and the action performed here is that the record is accepted um, yep yeah, thank you for watching and if you have any doubts just make sure to leave them in the comments i will get back to them as soon as possible